एग्रीगेट फंक्शन इन रिलेशनल एलजेब्रा सो एग्रीगेट फंक्शन मीन्स हेयर वी आर इंटरेस्टेड नॉट फॉर मल्टीपल वैल्यूज बट एग्रीगेटेड वन सामारी वैल्यू दिस एग्रीगेटेड फंक्शन कैन बी ऑफ मल्टीपल डिफरेंट टाइप्स बट हेयर वी आर मेनली कंसिडरिंग वी यूज टू कंसिडर दिस सम काउंट मैक्स मीन एंड एवरेज सो दिस आर द common aggregate functions which you use in our relational algebra now let us discuss this aggregate function and its usage using some examples so the query number 1 find sum of assets of all branches so if you go for the branch relation this is the schema actually the b is capital means schema and whenever you are writing b in the lower case and that is the relation okay so this branch schema so branch schema is having this branch name branch city and assets so here it has been asked sum of the assets of all branches so here this g stands for group by so sum of assets operated on branch then what will happen all the asset values will get added and then the sum of those asset values will be coming as output so there is a group by operator so group by sum of assets operated on branch next one is count distinct customer names having savings bank accounts so accounts it is having savings bank accounts so you know that depositor can give you the idea that which customer name is having which account a person can have multiple accounts but i require the distinct customer names so in that case g count distinct operated on customer name and it will be operated on this depositor so in this way you are going to get the distinct count of customers next query find branch city wise max assets that means branch city will be coming and then the max assets so branch city wise max, max assets the query has to be written in this way so at first we will be doing the group by on the branch city that means similar branch cities will form one group and for each and every group i shall have to calculate the maximum of the asset values and that will be operated on the branch so we know that in case of branch we are having branch name branch city and assets so let us suppose this is my respective branch relation so here we are having branch name branch city and branch assets here this tuples are written in a group by operation after when when we are doing the group by operation on the branch name so i think it is branch city so here we are having this hyderabad all hyderabad tuples have got clubbed written in a same sequence and then we are having this another group where branch city is equal to noida here we are having another group where branch city is equal to bhubaneswar and these are the respective branch names and these are the respective assets so what to what to be the output output will be if we write this particular query that is uh, branch city group by max assets operated on branch so branch city will be hyderabad and their respective max assets will be 5000 unit and then this is my for noida and here i'll be getting this 4700 for this bhubaneswar so in this way we are getting this hyderabad 5000 unit noida 7000 unit and this is our bhubaneswar that is 4700 units so in this way we can write the query that is group by on branch city and max of assets operated on branch so we have got the idea that how this aggregate functions can be used in our relational algebra and here we are having mainly five aggregate functions that is sum max min count and average thanks for watching this video